The transpose function in Excel flips your data, turning rows into columns and columns into rows. Before I show you the function, I just want to point out the difference between paste transpose and the transpose function. Paste transpose flips copied data like this. I'll select A1 to A5. I'll copy it. I'll go to E1. I'll click the little arrow to the right of the paste button. On Windows, the arrow is below the paste button and I'll select transpose. On Windows, transpose is a little icon with two arrows at right angles. So I'll click transpose and what we have in E through to I are values, not formulas. So let me show you now the transpose function. At the end of each month, the sales manager fills in the numbers for each region and each week into these cells here. On a separate sheet, as part of a dashboard, we need the region names and the region totals. But due to the layout of the dashboard, we need them to be horizontal. For demo purposes, I'm not going to put them on a separate sheet. I'm going to put them over in columns H through to K on the same sheet. So in H1, I will enter a formula. I'll use the transpose function. So equals transpose open brackets, and then I'll select A2 to A5 and close the brackets. Press enter. And what this does is it displays the contents of A2 to A5, but because A2 to A5 was down a column, it's transposed it so it displays across a row. I'll then go to H2 and again use the transpose function equals transpose, but this time I'll select F2 to F5. Close the brackets and enter. You can also combine transpose with other functions. So here, B10 contains this formula. It uses the unique function to display the contents of C3 to I3, but without duplicates. You can see that Rob manages two products and so does Kelly. By default, the unique function returns a list of unique values from a column. The true argument tells it to extract the values from a row. C3 to I3 refers to a row, row 3, so the results are placed in a row, row 10. But I want the unique function to list the manager names down a column. So I need to edit the formula and wrap the unique function inside the transpose function. So I'll edit B10 and after the equal sign, I will add in transpose, open brackets. And at the very end of the function, I'll put in a close bracket and press enter. And that now gives us a unique list of manager names, but it lists it down the column. On to the final demo. This is a list of people who are attending a dinner together with the table that each person is sitting at, basically a table plan. There are four people on each table and I want to put the names going left to right in columns F to I under each table identifier, starting in column F. To do that, I need to combine the filter function with the transpose function. Let's break it down and do the filter function first. So in F2, I'll put equals filter, open brackets, select A2 to A17, comma, select B2 to B17 equals F1. This tells Excel to extract the values from column A, where the value in column B equals what's in F1. Now, before I can copy the formula to F6, F10 and F14, I need to make A2 to A17 and B2 to B17 fixed with the dollar signs. So let me do that now. Select the range within the formula and I'll press function key F4, which is the shortcut to put in the dollar signs in and the same with B2 to B17 and press enter. I get a spill error because the original list in column A is column based. So the result of the filter function is column based, but I need the values to be left to right across the row. 
So I will edit the formula in F2 and I will wrap the entire filter function inside the transpose function. So equals transpose open brackets and a close bracket at the very end. This tells Excel to take the values generated by the filter function and flip them round. So instead of going down a column, they go across a row like that. And then I will copy that formula and paste it into F6 and paste again into F10 and paste again into F14. And that is the transpose function, making it easy to flip rows to columns or columns to rows.